And now change a rectangular crop region or callout view to a non-rectangular shape. When you select the crop region, there are two new features available on the mode panel of the Modify Structural Plan tab. Using the tools on the Modify and Draw panels, you can edit the crop region as you need it. You can modify the existing lines or dilute the lines and sketch a completely different shape. The Reset Crop feature changes the edited crop region to a rectangular shape within the current extents of the edited crop region. The crop or callout is changed back to a rectangular boundary and all changes made in the sketch mode are discarded. And this really allows easier presentation of reference model areas and gives more efficient documentation layout. When creating an instance project parameter for text, area, volume, currency, mass density, URL, material, and family type only, you now have the option to allow the value to vary for different group instances. The user can edit the parameter value for an element in a group instance without changing the value for the corresponding elements in other group instances. Bottom line. This feature gives you more flexibility with the data reporting and increased support for COBE requirements. A room calculation point setting has been added to all family types that are room aware. Examples are furniture, doors, casework, specialty equipment, and generic models. When these families are placed in a project, sometimes portion of the geometry are located outside a room space or within another element, which results in no calculable values being reported. Enabling the room calculation point enables you to move the location of the calculation point to fall inside the required space. The room calculation points also have a to from room functionality for doors so that you can better control how the door calculates which side is the to side and which side is the from side. Bottom line, you can improve design accuracy and ensure room and space calculations account for all elements for more accurate energy analysis. Improvements to the schedules will help you with enhanced text and table formatting for better customization, as well as give you more intuitive access to parameters as well as text properties and table formatting improvements really help give you more control to make your schedules look the way you want. You have the ability to display graphics in the header section of the schedule along with conditional formatting improvements which can now be seen on the sheet and printed. The benefit is that you gain greater control of schedule formatting and increased access to data within BIM. In this release, new options enable you to determine whether you can select linked elements, underlay elements, pinned elements, and elements by face in a model. You can enable the Select Links option when you want to be able to select linked files and individual elements in the links. Linked files can include Revit models, CAD files, and point clouds. You can also enable the Select Underlay Elements option when you want to be able to select elements contained in an underlay. You can enable the Select Elements by Face option when you want to be able to select elements by clicking interior faces rather than the edges. You can also enable the Select Pinned Elements option when you want to be able to select elements that are pinned in place and cannot be moved. And finally,